Hey, how's it going? This is Brad with Look Mold. And if you've never seen my videos before, I am a licensed mold professional out of the state of Florida. I make videos like this to help people like you deal with mold issues in your home. And I got a question for you. Have you ever wondered if black toxic mold is hidden inside your walls? Well, good news, in this video, I'm gonna give you sure telltale signs that you have hidden mold, and then I'm gonna tell you what you can do. But do me a favor, stay until the end because I'm gonna show you an actual case study where I found black toxic mold hidden in the walls of a house. And before we get started, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. I'd greatly appreciate it as it helps my channel grow. Also hit that subscribe button and then the bell button so you can get notified every time we put out a new video. Now, before I show you how you can find black mold in your walls, there are certain facts about black mold that are crucial as it can affect your health if you're not careful. So here's what you need to know. First, black mold is not a scientific term. It's a term used by the media describing a type of mold called stachybotrys. Now you can find some mold inside your walls that is black, but that doesn't specifically mean it's quote unquote black mold. But even though it may not be stachybotrys, it also doesn't mean it can't be toxic. There's other sorts of mold that can be toxic and can be found hidden inside your walls. You need to be careful and you need to anticipate that whatever you're gonna find in your walls can cause you health effects. That makes sense, right? So now let me ask you a question. You clicked on this video because you suspect you might have black toxic mold hidden, right? But what makes you think that? You gotta understand that black mold doesn't just randomly grow inside of a wall. Some kind of water leak, it needs to occur for this type of fungus to grow. Therefore, if you have no reason to think that you've had any kind of water damage, then you should have no reason to believe that you have black mold inside your walls. Now, that's not to say there couldn't have been a previous leak in a given section that you weren't aware of and that there can't be some old mold hidden there as an issue. But the point I'm trying to make is that there should be clear indicators that mold can be present before further investigating. You shouldn't just be hacking into walls right away and proper precautions will need to be made if you aren't careful, the mold spores, it can spread through your entire home, but more on that in a bit. So let's take a look at the ways you can determine if there's black hidden mold inside your walls. Now, the first way is gonna be looking at your baseboards. Baseboards are your friends. They can give you hints in regards to water damage and past issues as well. If you see some water staining or light mold on the front side of the baseboards, that can give you some hints as what you'll find behind the baseboards. Outside of staining, you can also tell when baseboards look swelled up or are bulging out. That is a clear indication of water damage. If you take a peek at this baseboard that you see on the screen here, you can see that it's bulging out, it's warped, as if there's some kind of water damage present. Now you can check if there is water present by the use of a moisture meter, although if you don't have access to, to ones, um, you can just kind of take a look at it and get a good idea if it's been wet. So now what I'm gonna do for the sake of this video is I'm gonna pull back this baseboard just to see what's going on. But before doing that, I did shut down the HVAC system and I put up some kind of mini containment barrier with plastic just to be safe. Because you, again, you don't wanna spread it through the entire house. I made sure that I had at least an N95 mask on even though I was only gonna have limited exposure because I was pulling back the baseboard to see what was going on. And as you can see, once I pulled back the baseboard, yes, there was mold present. Now, do I know for 100% sure that this was black toxic mold? Well, yes, because I'm a mold professional and I just took a sample to be sure. But here's the thing, regardless of whether it's black toxic mold or not, when you see mold growing like that, it needs to be removed. As long as it's not just superficial mold that can easily be cleaned off, you need to remove it. And this is what the back of the wall looked like. That's some pretty nasty stuff, right? So the second way to determine if you have black mold inside your walls may be something that you are gonna need to hire a mold professional for, and that is called an inner wall cavity sample. This involved drilling a hole in the wall the size of a little less than a dime and then you stick a tube that is connected to a sampling cassette on a pump and an air sample can be taken inside the actual wall. 
I typically run these for about a minute and you really wanna do that so you don't get excess uh, debris inside the sample and they'll be able to look at it under a microscope. Um, because once you're done taking the sample, you send it off to a lab and they'll look at it under a microscope. A lab report will reveal what type of mold is present and how much mold there is. Now keep in mind, there will always typically be some sort of mold found inside a wall, but it generally won't be stachybotrys unless you've had some kind of leak. So if stachybotrys is found inside the inner wall cavity air sample, there's a good chance that mold will be present inside the wall. Now a third way to see if you have black mold present inside your walls is by looking through a pocket door. Now pocket doors are great ways to see inside of walls. Now obviously all homes will not have pocket doors, but if you do, it's a huge advantage because you can see the back side of the walls without actually having to open it. Now you're gonna need a flashlight obviously to see inside the walls, but don't get surface mold on the door confused with black toxic mold because this kind of mold is likely just due to attic airspace entering the wall cavity, creating some kind of moisture, and it's usually just superficial in nature. This type of mold can generally be cleaned up by damp wiping it with like a mild detergent or some kind of biodegradable solution, such as like simple green. So now that you know three ways to see if there's hidden black toxin mold in your walls, you will need to know the steps to ensure you don't, you don't A, get yourself sick, and B, spread the mold throughout the home. Now, if you know for sure or suspect the mold is black toxic mold, I highly urge you to contact a mold professional and do not attempt to remove it yourself. However, you may not have the money for it or you may just say, hey, this guy, you know, he's just being super cautious and I'm gonna do it myself. I know some of you guys are, are DIY people out there and just aren't gonna listen. So the most important thing you need to know if you do take the steps to do it yourself is you are gonna need proper PPE. Proper PPE can consist of a mask. At the very least, you should have an N95 mask. If you're dealing with stachybotrys, you should really get a full face respirator. Wear long sleeves and pants so it doesn't affect your skin and make sure you have a good pair of gloves on. Also, make sure your air conditioning is shut down. The last thing you want is to have mold spores spread through your air conditioning system. It's not a bad idea to put six mil plastic around your um, HVAC returns so the mold spores can't travel through the AC system. If possible, build yourself a little containment barrier with six mil plastic. Do whatever you can to ensure the mold spores don't spread. Make sure you bag the mold materials in, in, the mold, in the containment barrier and avoid taking the bag through the house if possible. Now, if there's a window or a door nearby, just throw the you know, materials out there. Don't take it through the house if you can avoid it. Next, you wanna rent yourself a machine called an air scrubber. Now, an air scrubber basically acts as a large air purifier. It takes all the mold spores out of an air, puts it on a HEPA filter, and then sends out clean air. You can rent one of these at your local tool rental place. And then you wanna treat the remaining building material with an EPA registered antimicrobial solution. Now, when in doubt, refer to OSHA and EPA's website for more information because you really should have a professional be doing this and you wanna make sure you don't get yourself and your family sick. Now, I wouldn't expect you to be, pro uh, be perfect at the process, but at least it's better than just ripping into the walls with no PPE and cross-contaminating the entire area. So that's basically how you can tell if you have black mold in your walls and what you can do to protect yourself. But again, I always urge you to consult with a professional if you think you have a mold issue. Listen, I hope you like this video. And if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up and feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll try and write you back. Also go to lookmold.com for more information about mold.